How's everyone doing today? My name is Destiny Nine Wellness. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today's topic is about a topical cream. Um, I want to say maybe less than a year ago, I made an appointment at a dermatologist in Atlanta um, with the hopes of evening out my skin tone and eradicating some of the blemishes that I have on my skin. Um, note that you know I've gone to a dermatologist almost like every year in high school because I had kind of like a, a, a skin issue. So as an adult, I still suffer with some skin issues. So I'm like, okay, well, this isn't working. This isn't working. Let me, you know, make an appointment with the dermatologist and get some, you know, professional cream that I just know will work. Um, so that's exactly what I did. And again, it was less than a year ago. Um, needless to say, the cream just was not for me. And actually, this isn't a cream. Um, it's considered a gel, a topical gel. And you may have heard of it, but it's called Epiduo Forte. And it's 0.3% adapalene and 2.5% benzoyl peroxide. Okay. If you have never used any of this, just know that it's very tricky. And I guess in a lot of cases, um, when you use this, this type of topical creams, gels, or whatever, it gets worse before it gets good. But that's just something that I'm just really not willing to gamble. General instructions are to apply a thin layer of the Epo Duo Forte um, to the effective areas once daily after washing. Um, and you're supposed to use like a pea size of, of a dose per section of your face. So a pea size here, 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 here. Okay, and so that's exactly what I did. I did not go overboard with this gel or anything. I followed instructions. Now, I did not apply it every day because I was just kind of testing it out. Um, so on a few occasions, I had side effects. The record, it does say that this particular gel can interact with other drugs. So if you, you know, if you're on something else, this will not affect the dosage or affect the effects affect the effects okay whatever so it wouldn't affect you if you are using another drug but see in my case luckily i wasn't using another drug but this still had some unusual side effects for me i use a pea size everywhere right and so generally some of the side effects are itching burning peeling um you know all of these you know general things um, so my face didn't swell up, uh, you know, on the surface, but after using a pea size of a dosage on each part of my face, the next morning when I woke up, it felt like my face was swollen in the inside. Like, like it was just stiff and like I could hardly move my face. But when I looked in a mirror, it just, it, it looked normal, but it just didn't feel normal below the surface. I thought that was strange. Another effect it had on me um, was like under my eyes began to like get dry, like as, as if I had allergies or some kind of allergic reaction or something. You know how you might see some people who have like bad allergies or allergic to something and like under their eyes, they, they started getting itchy and real dry. Um, I've never had that in my life. And I use this and I wake up the next morning and I could, you know, immediately see like some dry patches under my eyes. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm not really, you know, it's not that important. Like the skin situation is just not that important for me to jeopardize, you know, other, other parts of my, of, of my skin. So, um, I fell back, you know. You know, I really wanted this to work though. And I, you know, I'm like, you know, I, I went to the dermatologist for a reason. I want this to even out my skin, eradicate this hyper, uh, hyperpigmentation or whatever. So I fell back after the itchy eyes and the swollen under the surface of my skin, fell back. Fast forward, tried it out the blue. Um, after I washed my face, I did not go out in the sun immediately following because I know that is one of the instructions too. You know, you shouldn't apply these, these topical gels and then go directly out in the sun. So I, did, I avoided that. Um, and this one time I used it 
and I remember my my vision getting blurry um, so I really couldn't pinpoint exactly where it was coming from but the only thing there were two there were two options there it was it was this gel or a caffeine shot now every once in a while we'll have my Cuban coffee so I had to you know I had to try to pinpoint it and, and try to figure out like is it this coffee is it this gel um, it, it was really really bad um, and it might have lasted for a full four minutes and to me that that's quite scary so that particular day I could not pinpoint it on this this topical gel so maybe four days later I tried the gel again later on in the day I had the same I mean this was hours later I was in a store standing in a line waiting to pay and I just suddenly just I mean it was bad like my vision just started getting so blurry to where I was just like so scared you know I'm in the line thinking that I'm about to faint or something I'm like trying to do all kind of things with my with my hand over my eyes like rubbing my forehead just trying to like bring my vision back like I'm like what is going on so later on that evening I pinpointed that I had put this this gel on my skin you know so I looked up I started doing some research on the side effects and of course at first you just see general side effects like I mentioned before itching burning peeling all of those things do you see this okay here are the side effects I proved my points scaling swelling itching worsening of acne within the first four weeks those are all general side effects but this side effect here is exactly what I experienced. And this is what I'm talking about. Sudden vision loss. Symptoms such as sudden vision loss though. Tunnel vision, eye pain or swelling, halos around lights. Yeah, that was serious. Heart symptoms too, such as fast, irregular or fast heartbeats fluttering in your chest. Shortness of breath, sudden dizziness. It's insane. All from a topical face cream. No thank you. Girl, or whomever, girl, when I read that your, your vision can become blurry or you can just immediately lose your eyesight, I could have screams like there is nothing okay there is no topical gel no cream no any of that that important you know like I will deal with my skin issues okay any given day like it's not that serious like I am not the one to risk my vision for some good looking skin so I, when I read that, I wanted to stump on this with my stiletto heel. But I just wanted to share with you before I did that. So, you know, it could work for some, but for others who might be experiencing these side effects, get rid of it because it's it, it would not be worth your vision or additional skin problems just to alleviate hyperpigmentation or acne. You know, I mean, really, we just have to change our diets when it comes to that. So anyway, um, again, if this is affecting you in a bad way, just let it go, sis, let it go. Um, you know, after this video, it's, it's gotta go. But this is typically how it comes out. That's a pea size that could really, really do some damage, okay? <laughs> So that's it. If you girls have any suggestions or if there are any doctors watching this, dermatologists who prescribe this, I'm so sorry, but this is just my experience. Um, but if you have something else that you could recommend or you know, you know, something that could just even out my skin tone or regulate my hormones and um, alleviate the hyperpigmentation, please let me know. Please leave me a comment, send me a message it is highly appreciated all right um thank you so much for watching please subscribe and hit that like button thank you so much have a good day